guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bell Loves Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. Why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! I rode my bicycle past your window last night. I roller skated to your door at daylight. It almost seems like you're avoiding me. I'm okay alone, but you've got something I need. Ho ho! I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. We should get together and try them all to see. I've been looking around the world. You got something for me. Oh, I've got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. Hi guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Okay, what does that song mean? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's some, um, I think there's some, hold on, I'm looking. Evan, where's your voice? I think there's some innuendo there. I don't think it's just about roller skates, Effingham. I don't. Or a brand new key. So, what, anybody? Um, I think that's like a one-hit wonder, Melanie, right? I don't think she had any others. The, some people say I've done all right for a girl. That's one of the good lines in it. All right. I don't get it, though. However, I know that it's like, um, I ride my bike, I roller skate. I ride my bike, I roller skate. Don't drive no car. Don't go too fast, but I go pretty far. For somebody who don't drive, I've been all around the world. Hmm. Hmm. And some people say I've done all right for a girl. Anyway, any ideas? Okay, comment down below. I'm just curious. What does everything that song mean? I, I, <laughs> yeah. Nope, not sure, Effingham, but I'm pretty sure it's not about roller skates. All right, let's get into it. Hey, guys, today is a holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. I love shopping Saturdays. All right, so um, this is just sort of a hodgepodge one, I will say. A lot of stuff that I need, some stuff that I was like, I don't need, but I'm going to get it. Um, and nothing too phenomenal. I have no great find. However, I have a fantastic craft idea which I think I will save for the very last thing I do. All right, let's just dive right in. I don't have a whole bunch in the food department. Um, actually, like, um, I have a few food things, but I have food storage, so I just thought I'd go over this. I bought some Glad sandwich bags because we needed them and for no other reason except that we needed them. Um, and there's 22 in here. I don't know that this is a great buy. I've actually never like priced out. I should sometime because I just grab them because I'm there. So yeah, there's that. But then I found the some more of the reusable travel set bags. These are clear. I was like, first time I'd seen the clear. I've seen the palm trees. I've seen the, the other ones have cactus. But I had not seen the clear before. Well, again, I was like, what? This is a great storage thing for the RV as we're collecting things to get into our RV. I feel like you can do storage for stuff in your bathroom. It's very lightweight. Let me explain why. Because this is... This is malleable, is that the right word? So if I have a little storage container, it's gonna take up the room of the storage container, whereas this, it's just gonna take up the room of the stuff that's in it, right? So I kinda like that. Um, and I was like, should I buy more? I only bought one to show it to you. I was like, I need to think about it a little bit more. All right, so in the food storage, I got those two things. Actually, this is food storage as well, but I bought it for crafts, but I'll show you. They're back out, the great big large candy jars which I love these I absolutely love these it's just such a phenomenal thing for a buck 25 I really need to do one mod podge one up and make it a really cool bathroom thing or something but for now I purchased two because I need them I'm finishing up um organizing of my craft stuff which I've done before but are we ever really done I mean are we ever really done organizing our craft stuff I don't think so Oh my gosh, did I even tell you guys that this is a Dollar Tree channel? Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree. And why? Evan Yam, because everything the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a... That's right, dollar and a quarter. Anyway, so this is a Dollar Tree channel as I've already started my haul. So, um, I am reorganizing my 
craft things because we had that big estate sale and I did downsize quite a bit of stuff out of my crafts. But <clears throat> I'm just finishing it up. So I like these to put my beads in and I separate my beads by colors or or even color schemes, right? So I would put the white, the natural, and the black maybe in one and then all the different colors, blues or whatever. Uh, but there's all, there's all kinds of things. Anyway, so this is for crafting. And I purchased two of those. I'm going to put it down just so it's not in my way. I don't have a whole lot of room on this table. Okay, so um, dog and animal stuff. I found some more of the Nine Lives, which I buy this for Friday. This is a good buy. All right, so if you price out cat food, this is a good buy. This is a 13-ounce can. It's nine lives, and this is what we give Friday when he comes in from being outside in the morning. We call him in with this. And after we do that, Jax looks up the bowl. Like, he cleans the bowl for us. <laughs> he just waits for, her, for him to be done, for Friday to be done. Anyway, so I get that. And, like, we, this is probably four servings for Friday. So, so what, we're 20, 30 cents a serving, basically. Um, any of those small cans of can't food are a lot more than that, and the bigger ones are more than a buck twenty-five. So, I think the other day though, I got, I did find one that was it was ten for eight bucks. And I was like, that's eighty cents each. That's not bad. So, um, but it was a really off brand. <laughs> that's nine lives. So then I found these. So I did. I didn't pick up too many. We just you know we keep them on hand for them. And then this was a new product for me. Now, maybe it's been there forever and I've just never noticed it, but Jax needs to get brushed. Um, even though he's a short-haired little wiry dog, we need to brush him just to, you know, exfoliate his fur and whatnot and bathe him. And so I grabbed this. It is a two-sided one, which I think is really nice. This is more of like a, um, I don't know, it's a brush. And this one's more the wiry brush where I feel like this is probably gonna be the best one on him. He just doesn't have much fur, right? So grab that to brush jacks with. Okay, next, let's go into food because it's sitting right here. The kids are coming. Actually, the kids will have been here by the time you see this, I'm pre-filming. And so I was picking up stuff to have for them while they're here. So I got some of the little, I have the pizza sauce left over from our foodie fun day. So I grabbed some, I only found two, but I grabbed some more pepperoni. They were a little squunched, but they're sealed, it's fine. And I thought they could make themselves little personal pizzas, you know, one day while they were here. So grab those. Also, picked up some new drink things, and I was like, hmm, um, you might, I might have already done a, a video on this by the time I'm hauling these, because um, I think Scarlett and I and Moses are gonna do some videos on tasting foods. But these are the bye, 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 baby, bye, 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 bye. And these are the antioxidant. Um, this is lemonade and uh, they're only 10 calories. This is Zambia Bing Cherry. This one is a Kupang Strawberry Kiwi. And then there is the Malachi Coconut. Mark loves coconut, so I'm assuming he's gonna love those. So I grabbed the four of the, that's all I got. I have one of each flavor for him to try so he can tell me if he likes any of them. It's only 10 calories and it's um, nothing else in it really. <laughs> There's vitamin E, contains 4% juice, some carbohydrates, um, yeah, I don't, there's really, no, anyway, it's supposed to be antioxidants. So I was like, okay, well, I was trying to buy these different, he loves the vitamin water, I will say. I think that's his favorite so far that I have purchased is the vitamin water. I'm dropping these things on the floor to pick up and put them away. And then I found um, this one, which I thought this was really interesting. It's a lemonade energy drink and it's 3D Alpha Land, 15 calories for the whole can. It's 16 fluid ounces. Very interesting jar, I like it. Um, can, I guess. So I grabbed one of those to try as well, we'll see. And I got an old staple, which I hadn't seen in a while, and that would be our Boost Protein, which I love these. So, um, like, they, do they have any fiber in them? There's, like, no fiber, right? No. Some carbs. Sodium. Yeah. Anyway, I love these as a, as a breakfast alternative. And then one new thing for us to try, and I was like, this looks really interesting. So it's called Millie's Sipping Broth Delight Faux. Delight foe instead of delight foe. Delight foe. Not delight mo. Moo. <laughs> delight foe. Fo oh, foe. Moo? Foo? I don't know. 
don't know. Anyway, there's three steepable broth bags. So this is, there's 10 calories in it. This is a, a sipping broth. So there's yeast extract, dried onions, sea salt, dried garlic, rice hulls, dried basil, dried carrots. It does sound boring, you're right. But I don't know, cayenne pepper. Dry. Okay, so this is it. The perfect cup of broth. This is Millie apparently on the back. So it says Millie's sipping broth was created by a school teacher who wanted a smarter snack between classes inspired by our mom Millie and her great cooking. Delight faux sipping broth is a hearty blend of onions, basils, lime, and spice. Maybe it'll be amazing. Hmm. You know what I love? Are the Campbell's Yes soups that I got there. The tomato basil and the uh, Marks and I just did on the foodie. Those are so good, and I love that you pop the top off, put it in the microwave, and then you put the top back on, and it's a little sippy cup. Anyway, so this could be really interesting. It's, so it looks like they're little, um, almost like tea bags, and you add a steepable broth bag to eight ounces of boiling hot water, let steep for four minutes, then stir, squeeze, and enjoy. All righty. Okay. We'll try those. Um, let's see, where to next? How about the man aisle? I only got two things from the man aisle. So some C batteries. Oh my gosh. Where was I? Home Depot. I need C batteries for something at the property. And, and it was like $25 for it. And I was like, yeah, no. I don't remember how many were in there, but I was like, no. So I was like, I'll just pick some up at the Dollar Tree next time I'm there. So I did. I picked up a few packages. We just have this lantern thing that's motion activated. It's super cool because um, when we walk in, it comes on. And it takes C batteries. So it also has a way to plug it in which we do on our Ryobi, but it's super nice to have the batteries in there so I'm not using up the Ryobi battery, if you know what I'm talking about. All right, and then the one more thing from the man aisle, which was some more of the lightweight spackling. I got mine out the other day. We have quite a few holes in the house that we need to fill up. And so, although I use it for, for um, crafting, I'm also gonna be using it on the house. So there's that. Let's see where to next. Ah, I found something new. Because I'd already purchased, these are the, the Linsent cone holder burners, but this one's a different shape. So this one's more tower-like, and the one I already got is like, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I should show them to you so you guys can see. Okay, so inside of these boxes, you do get a bunch of the cones. This is a buck 25, I still can't get over that. And this one is a slightly different shape. But I'm giving these away. Like, I bought these to be gifts. So, I was like, I just wanted to show you guys that there was another shape there. I think I like the first shape better, the one that I found first. But this door had both of them in it. So, they are out there, you guys. They're out. They're definitely out there. I mean, I'm out there, too. But they're out there. So, this one is, um, it's just like a, it's just like a single. Whereas, see that? Whereas the one I got a couple weeks ago was like a down. Um, so I just want to show you guys that there was more than one style out there. Same thing, the cone goes on top here. I feel like this one's slightly smaller. So um, maybe a little bit better for a smaller space. I don't know. Anyway, um, they're great. They're super great gift ideas. So that's what I purchased them for. And they're a buck 25. I gave one, I told you guys I was gonna give one to our little friend, Danielle, who had been staying with us for a while. She's got her own apartment and she sent me a video burning her incense in the one that I got her. So it was a great gift. And so found this style and I only picked up one just to show you guys. Okay, that was in like household kind of stuff. Let's go to cleaning supplies because I do have a few. All right. I am in love with the look of these soaps. So this is the Delta Home Soap, and this one is Rosemary Mint. Now, I, I bought these. Oh, the Rosemary Mint is very nice. Um, okay, so there's Rosemary Mint. Let me explain. There's Warm Vanilla. So this is going to be like Christmas. and Oh, definitely. These are excellent smelling, but this is the one that got me started on these. So this one is Coastal Cedar. So I was for work, I was up in our Flagstaff store and I was like getting stuff, supplies, where at, where did I go get them? You guessed it, at the Dollar Tree. So I needed like tissues and some hand soaps and a toilet brush and you know, stuff like that. So they had some of this there and they had the Coastal Cedar and that was all they had. So I took it, I bought some of those and I took it there and I was like, and cause the bathroom was brown, let me explain. I purchased this 
because of the color of it, because it was going to match the bathroom. And I got it there and I was like, oh, oh my goodness. It smells amazing. So when I walked in the other day and they had all three of them, I'm like, I'm getting all three of them. I'm totally getting all three of them. They, these are really good. And it's 16 fluid ounces. This is just a really high end looking packaging, right? Speaking of high end looking packaging, they had one. Um, this is it, it. I don't know who makes it. It's by um, Rejoice International. So I got the one that was dishes and it was a black all black like this, the dishes on it with a pump, and it's super high-end looking. And then I found this one, which is the all-purpose cleaner. Here's the thing. Look at that scent. Peppermint sage. Now, I've talked to you guys before about this. When we go out to the property, we, um, oh, yeah, that's so strong. Yeah, no, you're, I, I, maybe someday we'll take you. I, I know, I, I know, Jax gets, Friday's never gone, though, Effingham. I, you're right, I make you babysit him. But maybe someday you can go to the property. But for now, no. And we know that when I go to the property, I do stuff with peppermint because that that um, uh, rodents don't like that, right? So we don't get any mice in the, the new fifth wheel that we put out there. The old one we did. But I'm still, like, just better safe than sorry. So I was like, well, if I wash the uh, all-purpose clean stuff with this, then there would be a scent of the peppermint because it's peppermint sage. So I think I bought five of them for use at the, it's really strong by the way. Uh, anyway, and sage is supposed to be good for warding off demons, right? So <laughs> it's a win-win, isn't it? We get peppermint and sage. Okay, so look for that. This is just super high-end looking. It is 16 fluid ounces and it's with plant-derived ingredients. That's right. The other thing is it's, um. Do, 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 do. ingredients or water. I don't know what's in there. I can't read any of it. Never mind. Anyway, so if you're interested, look for that. Uh, some laundry detergent. So I usually buy like the big thing of laundry detergent, say at Costco, right? That lasts me five years. And then, but I also always have on hand liquid because if I want to do a smaller load and don't need to put the whole pot in there. So I ran out, so I grabbed another one. And then this is the stain lifter and it's clean, fresh scent. Do you, anybody out there use the LA? Oh, yeah, that is pretty good. The LA is totally awesome. Do you guys use it? Anybody out there using it? I happen to love this stuff. So, and I think it's an incredibly good buy for buck 25. So, this wasn't the bigger bottle. Every once in a while, I'll find the bigger bottle for buck 25. So, this is the smaller one, but that's okay. I'm fine with it. I was happy with it. And then I found a third scent of the Wizards Naturals. And this one is a smoothing lavender. So, let's see. I got turned on, right? We'll see how soothing it is. Yeah. Yeah, it smells like lavender. Actually, that's a pretty nice scent. Hmm. Okay, so I love these. They're just so cute and small and compact. Perfect, I think, for like in your car to freshen up your inside of your car, in an RV, anything like that. And they had the three. So they've had, it's cinnamon, citrus, and the lavender are the three that I've found. Um, so I think that's really cool. They're just so cute and small too, aren't they? All right, and when you're done doing your oils in it, feel like this would make a perfect spray bottle size for crafting. Okay, so, uh, and then this is technically in the cleaning supply area because that's where they have like their fly trap stuff and whatnot, but this is brand new and I was like, yes. So this is called Pick Pest Free Living Fruit Fly Trap. Just add fruit. So you guys, this is so cute. I bought it for the property um, because we I stick them in the RV. It's just... Are, uh, in general, when you're camping, you get more bugs inside because you're in and out, right? So I was like, okay. And so there's always little fruit flies happen around a lot. Anyway, let me show you. I just took the sticker off so I could open this and show you. Check. Oh, no, I dropped it. Hold, 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 hold. So you just, you take fruit, you put fruit inside your cup, and then you put this there, right? I want to make sure I'm doing this right. So directions, open lid, place a place on bottom of cup to use a steady base. Place, um, oh, a fruit. I guess you're supposed to place fruit on the bottom of the cup to use. Anyway, to catch and release, remove funnel and place cut fruit piece inside. And then replace funnel and set near where fruit flies are present. When ready to empty the trap, release 
contents outdoors. Okay, so it's that simple. You put a piece of fruit in there and put this somewhere, but it's kind of cute too, isn't it? So the cup is just for, um, I think just for the traveling of it, right? But those are brand new, never seen them before. Love the idea and the concept. And at a buck 25, I think that's pretty cool. So you just throw a piece of fruit in there, in they go. I mean, we've all done the homemade one, right? Where you, have you done it with like a coffee filter or whatever? There's different ones. So I like that. And let's see, what else? We're going to move on to um, the toy aisle because I bought something else in the toy aisle this time. I found the other, the other dollhouse. Now I bought these two weeks ago. I held them for Halloween to do them as haunted houses. But then I found this one. And this one, of course, has the purple roof. So I was thinking, I'm going to do two haunted houses. And one, I'm going to do more of the cutesy, friendly Halloween, purple roof and whatnot. And the other one, I'll do more darker, scary Halloween-ish, I think. So um, so I grabbed two because I grabbed the two so I can put them back to back and make a whole house. Not just half a house, but a whole house. So snag those up. And then I saw this. Now, this stuff is so new. They're coming out with all this Barbie size stuff, fashion doll stuff, right? Um, I mean, I've seen a ton of stuff, but then I found this, which is the kayak. So I totally love the little kayak. I love the kayak, but I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to need that for co to make something for coastal. If I can get this open, I'll show you. Don't, don't do this at home. Do not do that at home, but okay. So I was like, oh my gosh, check out this little kayak. First of all, can we just say it's got a little paddle on it? So I'm thinking like. You can buy it just for these little paddles to make coastal paddles for a boat. But I looked at this. I don't, I definitely don't need her life vest. But this is a boat. So I'm thinking I'm going to take off this part, the little blue part, and I'm going to put a dowel in here and some sails. Super cute, super easy. I'll paint this. Like I won't leave it the pink. But I was like, oh my gosh, there's my little boat shape. I can make a bigger um bigger sailboat with it so we'll see if that works i think it will and then i'm just gonna take i can take my little paddles and i'll cut them off or put them on some add them so that there are two separate paddles not the kayak paddle i don't know what do you guys think i think it'll work i gotta figure out how to paint that plastic you know painting plastic is tricky right it doesn't want to stick to it um because it's plastic and so you have to do some roughing up of it and whatnot Okay. Yeah, you can see the sailboat. Oh, thanks, Effingham. I'm glad that you can see the sailboat. I, I Yes, I can too. All right, and so let's move right along. We're going to jump down into the health and beauty aisle. So I found a couple of things um, for Scarlett and something for me. This is the makeup sponge, and I've heard a lot about this lately, and so I'm going to try it. Not that I wear a ton of makeup. You guys know I don't. But I'm going to try it out and see how it works because I hate um, makeup sponges I just feel like um, it always reminds me of the kitchen sponge. So in the kitchen, do you, does anybody do this? I rotate my sponge through the dishwasher. I have two of them always out. So one goes in, then one comes out. So it's always getting sanitized. But I just feel like makeup sponges are so grotesque because they're like, they never get, they never get, I don't know, cleaned out. But this is, it's like a silicone sponge, I guess. Is what you have. So you're going to be able to clean it. Oh, that's interesting. It's very smooth. You're going to be able to clean it like every time you use it to put on your makeup. So I thought, all right, I'll give it a try. They had some other colors, but I was like, mm, I want to see that it's completely clean. And I felt like the clear one was the best way to do that. Then down that aisle, um, I found some, this little, it's make me up plumping lip gloss, raging rose. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get that for little, um, for Scarlett, so not that she needs to, but of course it's a big thing right now, right? The plumbing of your lips, so I was like, all right. So this is manufactured by K7 Design Group, so I don't know where that's from, but it's not a Dollar Tree item. I've never seen it there before, and it's called Make Me Up, instead of Wake Me Up, Make Me Up. Make me up before you go, go, don't leave me. <laughs> okay, so little lip plumping lip gloss, because I'm making those packages for them, and so I've got some stuff in here for them. I also found another style of the nails I'm so excited to give her. So these are super cool. So it was another style. I hauled these last week. And we know these are not buck twenty-five. Like these just the packaging and everything. It's definitely something that came from like a Walmart or Target or something like that. And then I found the cutest socks. 
Now she lives in Iowa, Scarlet does, so these are for her. So look at the little toppers. So like you can wear them with your little short boots and you have a cute little topper. You guys, these are not a buck 25. These are by Manichi. Manichi, I think is how it says. And um, oh my gosh, is there a price on here? You know, I love that when that happens, right? If I could find the original price. Didn't even look at that until just now. I don't think it does though. Anyway, it's, you know, there's a barcode and then, then Dollar Tree has put their barcode over it because it came from some other store. Not sure, these kind of look, these look like a Kohl's or something to me, but I suppose it could just be like a Target. Anyway, um, yeah, no price, but they're so cute that they feel amazing and just this cute little on top, the little lacy thing to wear with their short boots in the winter time. So I hope she likes those, I think they're super cool. And then the last thing that I found in the health and beauty aisle, the baby stuff, I was like, wait, I don't, need, I don't, I do not need this. My great grandson's a baby boy, so I'm like, but maybe purple's okay, and he's too young for it now, anyway. But I was like, wait, what? He will give it to Moses anyway. And this is mold, moldable foam soap, and this is Gallop and Grape Shape and Create. This thing is huge. This is 14.4, I almost dropped it, 14.4 ounces. Like this is a big bottle of foamable soap by Crayola. I mean, this is not, this is distributed by Centric Beauty. This was definitely not a dollar. I know they get a lot of Crayola stuff in there, but this is Crayola on steroids and was not distributed for the Dollar Tree. Something happened and it's, you know, they bought them up or whatever. So I don't know if there's any other scents out there. I only saw the Galloping Grape, but I was like, wait, what? That's huge. So I purchased it. If nothing else, to throw in that gift stack, right? Where you have stuff that you give away or to put into, you know, um, a gift thing for um, some shelter house or something like that, right? Okay, so I th thought it was pretty cool. Grab, I only grabbed one. I figured I didn't need any more. Mm -mm. Even though it's a good buy. I didn't even look it up. Sharon, you can look it up because I'm pretty sure it's more than that online. Okay, so I'm going to save crafts for last today, but we're just going to dive into a couple things I picked up for the kids. Um, this is for Moses, and I had not seen these before. So it's a ruler with the poppets in it. I thought that was super cool. So it's very silicone. I was also thinking like, oh my gosh, I feel like I could take this and wrap it around a vase and paint it and have a really cool design on there. Cause see how it's got sort of the scalloping on the top and the bottom. Can you guys see that? And then this, it would work as a really cool design on just to wrap around a vase or something. But I grabbed it for Moses to give him cause it's a poppet ruler. And then this is also new thing I'd never seen before in their school supply stuff. And I grabbed them for Scarlet and Moses. And that was, first of all, this one, which this is the first one I saw. I was like, oh my gosh, that's too funny. So this is a Fruit Loops pin with 10 colors and they are scented. It's a scented rainbow pen. It's by Kangaroo um, and it's out of Washington Crossing, Pennsylvania. Why it is in the Dollar Tree, I don't know, but it wasn't made for the Dollar Tree. It says, smell me. Can I, if I do this, can I? <laughs> Why can I smell? There's no smell. What do you mean smell me? Where? There's no scratch and sniff. Are these? No. They almost feel like they're scratches, but they're, they're not. So anyway, I was like, yeah. So I grabbed that for Moses. And then I grabbed these, one for Moses and one for Scarlet. And they had other candies there, but I just grabbed these. So Jolly Rancher, and these are scented highlighter, pen, and bookmark. So there's a pen, there's a highlighter, and there's a bookmark, and they're scented. So I got Jolly Rogers and Mike and Ike. I mean, I've never seen these before. These are also by Kangaroo, which is this brand right there. Don't know that brand brand at all. This also says smell me. I can't smell you. I cannot smell you. I can't smell, no, can't smell you either, Effingham. Effingham, you have no scent. Okay. Um, it's okay. All right, so I thought those were fun. And again, I'm just making them these baskets full of fun little tchotchke stuff when they get here. And then the final stuff that I got for them was, it's like 4th of July and we're gonna be outside swimming at night and going camping. And so I picked them up a couple of glue things. So this is a flying disc. So I thought this would be fun to put the glow things in there and we can put Frisbee in the pool or Frisbee out of the property at night. And then for the 
property or out in the pool at night, some glow sticks, the necklaces. So this one's the red, white, and blue one. So I thought maybe we would save that for that. How many are in here? You know, I forgot. Oh, five pieces. And then this is just, this is also, this is four pieces. And this is the necklaces that are like the multicolored. Why one has five, one has four? I don't know. But then for the 4th of July, I know Scarlett's a little old for this, but I figure when she's got a younger brother, it kind of gives her the okay to have fun with some of the younger kid stuff. And so these are the glow stick like wand thingies. So I thought those were fun and I grabbed those for them. And that's all I picked up for them. All right. So the final thing I'm going to show you, and I'm so excited about spending time with them. The final thing I'm going to show you is my crafts. So first of all, I finally found, oh my gosh, you guys, you know, I've been looking for this. The Acrylology Black and the Acrylology White. So I finally found them and I can't wait to try their white. But I only got one of the black and I got two of the white because I use a lot of the chalk paint, the, the black chalk paint. So not as much just the straight uh, um, uh, acrylic, but the white, I'm gonna use more of the straight acrylic white than I do of the black because I use chalk paint. So I grabbed two of those and you just don't see the black and the white for some reason. I don't even know. So I think I might have the full array of colors now until they come out with some more which and I'm sure they will like maybe seasonally okay so I was super excited to find that paint and then I found some new signs so that is this I guess this is this is crafting right I mean some of their home decor stuff we like figure it is crafting so I'm just there's three of them and I want to show them to you um I just think they're they're super cute they're I don't know I'm probably going to redo them but that's okay right so this one is the B one, be kind, be happy, be you, which I think is super cute. Um, like this is just cute to put in like a teenager's, teenage girl's room or any teenager's room, just be you, right? But it needs some help. I feel like this is super cheesy looking here. And so my thought was to take some glue gun and, and do like the outline it with a glue gun and then repaint it, which I might, cause I think the, the the font is okay. And then this one, the, the B is actually like in separate piece on top of there. And um, I wouldn't mind removing him and putting another B on there. And this one is just printed on there as well. But you can see, I think maybe doing a raised outline with a glue gun and then repainting it might take this a whole very long ways. And I'm not a big fan of the three hanging. Like I would almost want to put them all together can't do it really, but I don't know. So we'll see. So that was one of them. And then the second one is together if I, is our favorite place to be. This one is a lot better. So maybe it's just because it's the black and white. Um, together is our favorite place to be. So I think it's really cute. They have just a couple of the little bees that this graphic of a bee is much better than, than the one that was in this one, right? Let's just show you. Like, I feel like this graphic is really cheesy. That's just really cheesy, and this one's a better graphic of a B. So, um, and it's the black and white, which is just, I don't know, a little more high-end looking. So they had those two B and B ones, and then they had this one, and now this one was the first one I saw, and I really like this one. So this is Home, a story of who we are, a collection of things we love, family, the people you live for, laugh with, and love the most, one of life's greatest blessings, friends, People whom one knows, loves, and trusts. Here's what I think. This is three separate signs. Like, this is, like, and the, the top, the, the, the middle one has a raised area. See that? Like, this portion is raised, so this is a graphic on there. Really interesting. I think this is a really beautiful graphic. That, to me, should just be standalone in a black frame. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'll do with them, but I grabbed them. Okay. And then this is a brand new mirror shape that I've never seen before. So it's the star. And I'm like, oh, 4th of July. Like just, yeah, I can't do it for that. But, I mean, I would consider it. I was like, oh my gosh, like a Christmas star. Um, just lots of things. So I just grabbed one. I will probably regret. I was like, I'm just going to grab one. But and then I was thinking on the other side, it would be super easy to make this a secondary canvas on it if you wanted to. All right. And then um, some, this, I put this in crafts, but I guess it's not, but these are the wire brush set. And I really wanted these for um, doing some of the crafts where I just wanna like rough it up a little bit. 
and the wire brushing I think does a really good job of that when you're working with uh, I should explain that so if you ever paint like a glass vase and there's divots and whatnot this does a really good of getting into the crevices and sort of sanding for you so I purchased those just to be um, my some uh, craft tools and then this is new to me the charcoal pencils actually I was just talking the other day about um, drawing with lead and charcoal is another one so um, a lot of times people do that they, they'll they'll do lead all across on a painting and and on something and then trace in it so it shows up I think you could do the same thing with charcoal but I purchased it because charcoal is such a great thing for on paint to do some rubbing in of a darker color because it's gonna rub into it really nicely. So for me, this is a fabulous art tool, crafting tool. Okay, and then we got two more things and we're done. I found this little canvas which says, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. It's so simple and it's just for me to use at Valentine's Day. That's it. I'll probably reverse canvas it and put some, some piece inside of the canvas when I reverse canvas the I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I was just like, yeah, that's too valid. I have to use it for Valentine's. All right, are we ready for my absolute favorite thing that I found this week? I was like, oh my goodness. I only bought three. Hmm. But I was like, no, Amy, just buy three. Just, just buy three. And then ever since then, I've like had all these ideas in my head about what I could do with them and I should have bought more three. All right, so this is brand new to me. I think it's brand new in general. And it's a wooden wreath base, which is a 12 inch wood base, okay? It's not wood, it's press board. I don't care. So I bought three of them and I'm gonna show you why. This is my really cool craft idea. So these just really easily slide into each other. So, although I think, let's see, is one smaller than the other? Because you do, there is some discrepancy in size a little bit. All right, so you slide one in, and you're gonna sort of eyeball that up, right? And then slide another one in. Hold on while I do that. I'm doing this in the store just to make sure it worked, by the way, and it did. And there you have this super cool geometrical decor piece that all you have to do is spray paint it black or paint it black with my um, acrylic black paint that I just got. And also then I was thinking like, oh my gosh, this would be so cool to do as a hanging piece with a light in it or to put an ornament in it at Christmas time and make it a floating wreath and put um, a base down here you could hold a candle on. And then I thought of the best one ever, which would be to make a lantern out of this. So I am, I am most definitely gonna go back and get more. And here's why. Because I'm gonna take them, but I love that little piece that I just showed you right there. But if I took these and cut them directly in half, I could make the coolest lantern that was all, went all the way around. I can't leave them specifically like this because I don't think I'd be able to get enough into each other, but I could certainly start with one and then just like boom, 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 and put it on top of a flat piece of wood and a little topper on top, and it would make a beautiful lantern. Not your typical square lantern, but a round one. So I will, if I find them again, buy more because I was wasn't thinking and I was like okay so if I did that I'm gonna assume I would need maybe six because I was like I feel like it would be like you know um like one two three four five six seven eight so like two four six eight probably ten would do it to make a really cool lantern and possibly nine but I would buy ten all right all right guys that's it that's my haul hope you like that um, and I will follow my next video. I'll give you some updates on when the kids were here. Hopefully I will be in Iowa at that point and doing a video for you from Iowa. Okay, everybody have a great day. Great week of great life. I've been hanging in. You were so quiet. I know. I know. Yes, I know. I, he wants me to let you know he will not be in those videos because I'm not taking him to Iowa. I can't take you to... No, they... They won't let me bring you on the plane. I'm sorry. No cows allowed. All right, everybody. So from your singing crafty crafter, I've got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. I think we should get together and some da da da, whatever it is. All right. What does that song mean? What does it mean? All right. I will see you guys next time. Um, from your singing crafty crafter, everybody. Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Bye, besties. Say goodbye, Effingham. Good job.